um, Petway Family Farmstead, and I have decided to participate in Meatloaf Wars. start a little bit different than most people do. I gotta find my container. There it is. I'm gonna get this counter cleaned off. That might be helpful so I can get started. So my meatloaf is was um, passed down from it was actually my step grandmother. She was like one of the best cooks I know so but it's really delicious and it's a little bit, it's a little bit different. Now, not as different as some of these other meatloaf recipes I've seen. I'll be honest about that, but I don't use bread crumbs. I use actual bread and let's see, get my bowl down and we soak it in milk and I'll let y'all put y'all back up in there, but I'll say, Hey, occasionally. All right, so we're gonna start with some bread. About, about two, these are pretty big pieces, so probably two pieces, because I'm making a little bit extra meatloaf than I normally do, so, because it will be gone by morning, and I'll barely get any. So, we're gonna crumble this bread up. I'm just gonna basically just pinch it off into small little chunks. So what's going on right now is I'm fixing the meatloaf. I'm getting it like ready because we have to go see, my, watch my grandson play ball tonight. I'll put a couple of those pictures in there. They're so cute. Actually, we're watching both the grandbabies play ball. So well, I said my grandson. They're both on the same little t-ball team. So cute. I'll add a few pictures in there for y'all. And then I'll come back and I'll cook it. I'll put this in the fridge while we're gone and then I'll come back and cook it. And of course I gotta make the all most important part according to my son is the mashed potatoes to go along with it because you can't have meatloaf without mashed potatoes. All right, so we're gonna put some milk in this. This is the little bit odd ingredient. Put the milk in this. And we're gonna push that bread down in there and let it soak up all that goodness. And I should have cracked an egg in there first, but I'll just crack it in a separate bowl. Put it in there, mix it up. All right. Make sure I'm gonna do two eggs because I have three pounds of meat. So I'm making about double what I normally make. And I think this is what makes it super, super, super moist. one chicken that lays light color yolks and I have one chicken that lays dark color yolks. Don't ask me why. We haven't figured it out. One of them lays significantly smaller eggs than the other one does too. All right, I'm just going to add that in there. Mix it on up. All right, we're going to let that sit. I'm going to go ahead and um, chop up some onion. I don't put bell pepper in mine. So just gonna chop up some onion and let that soak and then we'll get the meatloaf started getting put together. Should be able to get them fried. Or you might want to grate them to get them small enough. I don't like big chunks. So 
I put in two pounds of ground beef, one pound of our pork from our pigs, mixed it all up, and then we put it in the pan and flattened it out. And I'm going to poke holes in it, and you'll see why in a little bit. All right, so we're going to make the sauce, which is what makes this meatloaf. I'm going to put some ketchup, brown mustard, ground ground mustard, nutmeg, ginger, and a little bit of black pepper. I'm just going to mix that up. Uh, I'll end up adding a little Worcestershire sauce at the end. And um, we just stir this up until it gets thick. And then we'll end up pouring it on top of the meatloaf. And that's that for the sauce. It looks like now. And then we're gonna, I'm just gonna pop this in the fridge until I get back. I'll probably get him to start the oven because he's not going with me. His arm's hurting. Those of you that may be watching me say that um, and have no clue why his arm would be hurting. He had shoulder surgery uh, three weeks ago. So major shoulder surgery. He's worried somebody's going to bump into him at Bald. Well, I'm worried they're going to bump into me and I'm going to have to, I am left-handed and I'm worried when they bump into my right arm, my left hand's going to automatically react. Does Siren need help getting his Get back out there just because you don't stay out there. I don't ever get to catch. <laughs> I love it. Where is he just gonna stand in the middle of the field? <laughs> he said he don't give a shit in the head. He's the ball. Pay attention, go get it. Go, run, run, run! Run, Sawyer! Run, buddy! Good job, Sawyer! Fucking things that hold that over the weight she hanging and she sat on it. And Jesse was a little one. He looked up at it and pulled it and he pulled the bang out and he put it around the elbow and slid it open. That close putting his eye out. So scary. They said he was lucky. Run, baby, run! Run, buddy. Yeah. Cannot make him bed now. I'm not going to take the bed. Woohoo! All right, so we are back from the game, or at least I am. And my sweet husband has set the oven to 350 for me. And now I'm going to put this in for. Woo! Goodness. 30 to 40 minutes, just depends. Probably be a more on the 40 minute side because it's a little bit more meat than I'm used to making. So now we're gonna get started on these side dishes. I'm gonna go ahead and set this. So I just pulled them out, pulled her out of the oven. Looks very delicious. I got some fresh green beans going that I canned earlier this year. And we got the mashed potatoes. Uh, the, I mean, the quick cooker just went off. So we're gonna wait for those to um, release some pressure for about 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna go release it the whole way and then finish making the mashed potatoes. And then we will be ready to eat. Right, so here is the finished product. It's lovely. Our gooey gooey mashed potatoes to go with it. It's cooked perfectly, not too done, so moist, not dry. The best way to eat meatloaf is not dry. All right, what you think? What does it look like? It looks very good. Does it? Yeah, it looks very good. You want to test, taste the green beans? Uh, if you want to, those are fresh that I canned this year. Oh, are they all good? Mm. Yes, yes, they're very good. Our youngest won't agree. He's weird. Mm -hmm. 
It's all good. Okay, the meatloaf. <laughs> you know, that's the piece de resistance. I know your meatloaf's good. Let's try it here. Let's see here. Get a little taters with it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. So good. Mm-hmm. That's good. All right. No, it's not. Mm. Y'all need to stay out of it. I need to stay out of it? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, y'all need to stay out of it. All right. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. We really appreciate it. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you liked our content, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you'll know when any of our videos come out. And I am fixing to eat my meatloaf and mashed potatoes. It's right here, ready to go. Talk to y'all soon. Love y'all. Bye.